what is up guys welcome back to the channel um i hope you guys enjoyed the last video where we installed the pro grill on the 2020 tacoma i still cannot get over how good it looks honestly um i just i couldn't wait to take off that ugly chrome today we are actually gonna be adding to the grill um, I ended up ordering the Raptor lights for the Pro Grill. Um, there was either a set of four or a set of three. So we ended up going with the three light option for the Raptor lights. So I've been trying to figure out where exactly I want to place them. Um, either, you know, starting here and then skipping one. So I think that's what we're going to do first. I ended up ordering, I'm going to show you guys what I got and where I got it from. I ended up, I ended up going with Tacoma Lifestyle. Uh, the grill actually came with Raptor lights, but I just, I didn't like how they were. Um, so I wanted the ones that were like molded into it and that were smoked. The ones that the grill came with were round and they were clear they were still amber but there was just it was just a light and then a wire all it was um so i don't know what i'm gonna do with those i've been debating if i just want to give them away maybe do a giveaway i don't really know just yet uh, but if any, any of you guys are interested or have some ideas i'm totally down for those so i did get them get these lights from tacoma lifestyle like i said i got the i got the three light option in smoked um came with the wire you know adapters and then it also came with the add a fuse and then with the ground uh, cable that we will be adding to this actually get all of these things ready and then we will get to the install but first i kind of want to just mess around with the lights and see where exactly i want to place them and see if i'm gonna have to make any modifications so first things first let's find the placements First drink is always the best. So it didn't take long to realize that uh, I originally did want to go up here. So I wanted to place one here, skip one, and so on and so forth. But um, down here, there's this little like plate. I would have to like cut that completely out. One, uh, because I can't put that in there. And two, uh, the way these lights go in, this part right here I would have to completely cut out that top little plate um, I'm not sure if I'm I'm very comfortable doing that just yet um, so what I'm gonna do just to get these installed I am gonna run them down here so I'm gonna start there um, place that there skip one place it skip one please um, so we're gonna do that first just so that we don't have to make any modifications just yet to the grill since we just put it on um, but later on if I decide that I either am tired of this look I want to put it up a little higher um, then we'll make that modification this is where the lights are gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and get the wiring all set up and then uh, hopefully it should be a pretty quick install oh check out the shirt shout out to uh, bros for speed if you guys haven't uh, checked out their channel definitely check them out he has um, you know other cars other than a third gen but he does have a third gen Tacoma which he's always modifying that thing too um, I'm a big fan of their channel and I decided to go um, and get one of their shirts so. alright guys so we heat shrunk that right there Oop, right there and now it's pretty tight so we're gonna go uh, put these wires in there and then the ground wire and the add a fuse and then connect 
the little harnesses to the actual lights and then we should be pretty much done so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we need to get some zip ties because there is a lot of wires left and you know we need a clean look us tall people you know we need the our little stool so Clip these in. Okay, they'll clip in. Like that. So there's these two and they only go in one way. So I go like this. Okay, you hear it clip. And then second one. And there's that. Last but not least. Alright, there's that. So all this extra wire, we're actually, so we're going to leave some slack in there. We're going to run it over here by the headlight. Okay, put that there. First thing is first, we are going to do the add a fuse first. Okay, so there's actually three clips. There's one right here, one over here and one in here. So you just push these in and it should come off like that. And this one. There. Okay. So looking at this, um, we this is the one we, we want to remove so we want to remove the one that's the 10 a h l p l h l o um so we're going to remove that using this one so it's actually going to be this one right here we got it we're going to use that little tool and pop that out okay just like that and then this extra one we're just going to put in here okay we're going to put this back where it is we don't want to lose that now we're going to put place this where that goes i believe in there run this in here just a little bit somewhere okay and then you want to make sure that you hear all those clicks so you don't want water getting into your fuse box. Now, we are gonna remove this ground cable here and place our ground cable there, okay? 
and everything should be set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we will see what happens. Okay. All right guys, so we're gonna use a 10 millimeter um, little socket thingy, I guess. Don't make fun of me. I'm still getting used to all the little tool names. <laughs> At least I know what to use, I just don't know the names. So, we're gonna do that. Take this off. What? The fact that you know how to do all of this, you just shots. All right, a little hand tight there. So now everything is good. So the only thing we le have left to do is zip tie all that. But first, we are gonna double check if everything works is working correctly. So, uh, let me go get the key. All right, stand back because this thing might blow up. Knock it off. <laughs> so. As always, I will leave the link down in the uh, description below if you guys are interested in getting the Raptor lights. Like I mentioned, Toyota Pro Shop, uh, they do have these lights too, but they're just a little more expensive and you have to buy them separately. They aren't, they are not the ones that come with the grill. So if you get the option, uh, Pro Grill with the Raptor lights, it is not these ones. So. All right guys, I will get you guys a nighttime shot so you guys know what they look like at night. I am super stoked about this and I hope you guys are too. As always, um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. 
So this is the night shot of the Raptor lights that are on the Pro Grill. I hope you guys like them. So here's the shot.